ever felt limited by your iPad productivity? Imagine having the full power of Microsoft Office right in your hand. Hey there everyone, welcome to iPad Essential. Today I'm going to show you how to download, install and activate Microsoft Office in your iPad in few simple steps. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so now here you can see my iPad screen and what we need to do here is uh, we need to go to app store so let me type here app store and let's hit enter and just to make things look easy i also have connected mouse to my ipad so that you can see where my cursor is now let's click here on the search button and let me type here microsoft office after writing here microsoft office here I can see apps like Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint are available. And look at the number of positive rating they have. Microsoft Word itself have got 182k rating with 4.7 as in standard. That I would say is very tough to achieve in Apple environment. And here in case of a productivity app, this is placed at number 2 just after ChatGPT. Even iPad's favorite good notes comes below after Microsoft Word. So it is that powerful. And if you do not have license of Microsoft Office, I would consider you to, you can, you know, directly buy it from here. Since I already have Microsoft Office license, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna simply click here on this cloud button. And if you are installing this app for the first time, you're gonna see get option there. Now let's just wait to get it installed. And there we go guys, here we can see we have successfully installed it. Now let me click here on open. And we can also make it full screen by clicking here on the top and then selecting full screen. Now it is asking if you know we want to get notified whenever somebody share a document or collaborate with you. It's up to you if, if you use Microsoft Office extensively, you can turn it on, okay? And then you need to click here on allow notification and that's how guys we can start working on it so here you can see i am already signed in and if i click here on this folder i can see my documents and it will automatically start syncing from the cloud here i can see all my document being listed now let me actually click here on this introduction maybe i don't know what actually was there so here you can see this was word document probably i have created for something now what we can do is you can connect any keyboard with your ipad and also i have ordered a keyboard specifically for ipad so that i can work with my ipad such that i can step up my ipad productivity for the time being i have connected this keyboard to my ipad using USB type C. So that's how I am typing and interacting with my iPad. So here you can see, um, this is USB type C port and connector and I am using it like this. Okay, so now here you can see I have successfully installed Microsoft Word and here we can see all required tabs available on the top. And I would say the layout looks slightly different, but still I would say all necessary options are available here. And let me also bring this keyboard here that also can be utilized to type here but again i would say this is not the best typing experience the best typing experience will be by using the physical keyboard or you can use this voice typing so if i click here on this voice typing and click on allow probably now i can type in my microsoft word app full stop next line Oh, it's not working like that. Oh, it is working. So, I mean, this is also a way how we can type in our keyboard just by saying full stop. I don't know what to say. Maybe I'm going to say a quick brown fox jump over a lazy dog. Or maybe I can say this is the best productivity app available all across platform. No matter you are using Apple environment or Windows environment. Cool. So in this way also you can, you know, write or you can type even uh, with a keyboard. And I also wanted to show you uh, some of important entity that uh, we see in case of desktop. For example, we can easily create table here. Okay. 
and uh, obviously we can, if we want to uh, change the font or want to make something bold that is also very easy uh, to do so right now aptos is a default font so here um, you can choose any other font so maybe not all the fonts are downloaded here this cloud option shows that this font can be used but currently not downloaded so let's say if you want to go with any particular font for example uh, this one you can click here and then the the microsoft word will automatically download it for you and uh, will apply that font then here you can see advanced option like editor is also available that help you polish your word document so i'm gonna say all necessary features are already available here in a similar way what we can do is uh, we can go back to our app store and then um, here let me download microsoft excel and powerpoint as well if you also use microsoft onedrive you can also download that as well all you need to do is you need to type here onedrive because whenever we buy microsoft office 365 we also receive one terabyte of onedrive access so here you can see i already have installed it okay so despite i am in apple environment i still use ton of microsoft apps because there is no replacement for these apps these apps are undoubtedly the king of productivity world now seems like i have installed microsoft excel let me click here on open and here we go here you can see microsoft excel is opening for the first time again i'm gonna say or i am expecting a very similar kind of interface um here just i have opened a template now again i'm going back to app store and let's also open microsoft powerpoint and there we go so we have installed major three most popular app available in microsoft office suite and it's not like only three apps you can you know keep on installing just like what i did i mean i also installed microsoft outlook as well as microsoft onedrive so that i can also avail one terabyte of storage luxury in my ipad now um here seems like i have opened one template let me click here on play i mean this is the way you can see or run your presentation in your ipad and i would say this is one of the most convenient way to showcase your product and showcase your presentation without compromising the screen size and if you are on a go now coming back to our screen and if you are using keyboard you can use tab to move from one app to another very quickly so in this way guys you can level up your ipad game and can convert your ipad into a productivity powerhouse what do you think about this video if you have got any kind of questions confusion do let us know in comment down below i will surely try to answer your question as soon as possible that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then hit that like and subscribe button to keep yourself updated from ipad related topics and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye